Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So finally, after some grinding and completing an unnecessary checklist of chores to do, I've been able to play and experience Warframe's latest edition of brand new content, the cinematic story quest, The War Within. And The War Within builds upon the stellar foundation that Warframe has already set in place, and The War Within has kind of made me realize the true potential of Warframe. Now, I always knew that Warframe Warframe had this immeasurable amount of potential for this game's future, and The War Within just opens the door to so many more possibilities, but I'll get more into that later. Let's talk about the cinematic story quest itself, and all the new additions that come along with it. First off, I've gotta say, like Warframe's last big, exciting cinematic story quest, The Second Dream, The War Within turns Warframe a bit on its head, mixing up the gameplay, adding in some new elements, and really playing on your expectations with some really well done cinematics to boot. The actual overall story of The War Within is nothing special, we've seen this kind of storytelling done before, this kind of plot done before. But of course, like Warframe always does, it tells the story in its own Warframe kind of way, meaning it's filled with mystery, personal interpretation, intrigue, answering some questions, but generating some more as well. It is by no means bad. I just wish this is a personal wish. This is personal preference on my part. I would prefer Warframe to do a bit more linear storytelling, a bit more straightforward storytelling, a little less Dark Souls, a bit more Mass Effect. By that, I mean a little less hints and hinting at things, having you make guesses and come up with your own conclusions, and instead just have characters giving easy to digest exposition. I don't mind mystery. I don't mind intrigue. My specific personal problem with Warframe is that it's been one big mystery for years now. Over the years the game has been in development, we have huge mysteries and gaps in lore, in backstory, in character backstory, in just all this stuff, all this information about the universe of Warframe that, that just hasn't been filled in. And instead of finishing off and completing certain stories and plot elements and backstory, Warframe and Digital Extremes instead decides to just keep adding more and more, adding more mystery, adding more questions, adding more plot holes. And the only reason this is an issue for me, granted a very small issue, the only reason this bugs me is because Warframe has an actually very interesting, very fascinating universe. I just want to learn more about it. I want it to make sense because right now there's a lot of stuff in Warframe story and lore and background that just doesn't make sense. There are huge gaps in the Warframe timeline that just have yet to be filled in. Granted, I completely understand if this is not on the radar of the developers, if they just don't care at the moment. Completely understandable. Developer Digital Extremes DE is probably way more interested in the gameplay experience of Warframe than the actual story and lore of Warframe which I have no doubt that they will continue to build and expand upon. And while this is a bit frustrating, this is also the beauty of Warframe, it has me wanting more. And that is the double-edged sword of the War Within. I just want more. Not because the content was unsatisfying, but because it was so good. Same thing with the second dream. Same thing really with almost every update of Warframe. What is there is so good. I just want more of it. Warframe's greatest strength and its greatest flaw is that what's there is good, you just wish there was more of it. But here's the thing, Warframe is already jam-packed with so much stuff, so much content. So is it really justifiable to complain or be disgruntled that a game, a free-to-play game, no less, has so much content and you still want more? It's a very interesting situation Warframe finds itself in. But I got a tad bit off topic. Going back to the story of the War Within, while the storytelling is not anything phenomenal, it's the presentation of the story, like I said earlier, the fantastic cinematics, the visuals, the pacing, the music, mm -mm -mm, such good music. Now while I am avoiding spoilers for the most part, there is one teeny tiny thing I will talk about that some of you may consider a spoiler. I highly recommend you play The War Within for yourself, just forewarning you. So The War Within adds a new story-based gameplay mechanic where you actually have kind of dialogue choices that actually affect the gameplay and the story. Similar to say Bioware games and Telltale games, which just adds a unique new spin, a new taste, a new flavor into Warframe's 
style, something we're not used to seeing in Warframe in its storytelling and its gameplay, and is a nice new addition I can't wait to see expanded upon, and really, that's the overall theme with The War Within. It's really setting up for bigger and grander things, while The War Within itself is big and grand. There's reveals and introductions of characters that for a long ass time have been foreshadowed, and much, much more. Basically, The War Within leads the groundwork for future story quests. The Second Dream gave us an idea of what Warframe was capable of in terms of telling a more single-player-esque kind of story. And The War Within just builds upon what The Second Dream laid some groundwork for, and now The War Within continues to build upon that, and I have no doubt that the future of Warframe is very bright and very interesting, very exciting. Warframe continues to impress me. I mean, I love this game. I've been playing it for years. I have no doubt I will be playing it for a very, 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 very long time. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to come to the realization that Warframe is far, far from over. It's not done. It's still in beta. I know it's a ridiculously long time for this game to still be in beta, but the more I look at it, the more I analyze it, the more I realize Warframe has so, so much, so much in terms of gameplay mechanics, content, story, yada, 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 etc, etc. It has so much that is just incomplete, in need of refinement and expansion. And when the day finally, finally comes that Warframe leaves beta, when everything is set and done and no longer requires revamping and placeholders and all this jazz, we are going to have a game that is so vastly different from what it was originally years ago that it will truly be stunning. It will go down in video game history as the free-to-play video game that beat all odds and became something that even AAA video games would be envious and jealous of. I think many AAA games are already envious and jealous of Warframe for what it is, what it does, and what it will do. Alright, now the actual content that I can talk about without alluding to things, hinting, and just basically not spoiling anything. Let's talk about the new tile set, the new weapons, enemies, etc, etc. First off, the new Grenier tile set, the Kuva Fortress. First off, I'm very glad that this is a whole new location that you can visit and not just a revamp on another world. Replacing the tile set, it's a whole new location, which I'm happy for. More missions, more content, you know the drill. I've always been a fan of Grenier design, Grenier architecture. This weird, ugly blend of the industrial and the organic. And having this heavily militarized and fortified asteroid adds another new imposing layer to the Grenier Empire. Oh yeah, speaking of Grenier, the new Grenier enemies. Well, for the most part, we got some regular old Grenier enemies with a recoloring and a few new weapons thrown in their hands. The real brand new enemies, the Kuva Guardians and Jesters. The Guardians having a unique new gameplay interaction in order to defeat them. And the Jesters are really just an annoying new melee-based enemy. But like everything else introduced with the War Within, they add brand new variety, strategy, and intense gameplay combat scenarios. Finally, we have new weapons and cosmetics that are all Grenier themed. Unfortunately, I do not have the new weapons, so I can't really give an opinion on them. All I can really say is that if you're a fan of the Grenier and their theme and their visual art style, then I have no doubt that the new weapons and cosmetics will appeal to you, if you're a fan of the Grenier. And that's The War Within, yet another spectacular update to a spectacular free-to-play one-of-a-kind video game. Now, I usually don't acknowledge bullshit like this, but amongst the Warframe community, there was a lot of hype built up for The War Within. And unfortunately, unreasonable expectations get formed. Expecting every new update to Warframe to somehow completely revamp the game, oh, it's ready to come out of beta, this is a huge amount of content, will keep you occupied for months, for years, that sort of deal. Does this sound familiar to you? Like, video game community hype culture? Yeah, sounds a lot like that, eh? Now I can completely understand if someone is disappointed by the War Within, you're completely within your right to. But we gotta keep in mind, and this is only something I realized recently, Warframe is far from over. It's far from done. And what Digital Extremes is done, what it's doing with Warframe, is really something we're not seeing anywhere else, especially in terms of free-to-play games. I mean, if a new player were to jump into Warframe right now, never touched it before, made a brand new account, 
experienced Warframe for the very first time, they would be overwhelmed with just how much content, how much value, how much quality is in this free-to-play game. Sure, if you've been playing the game for two, three, almost four years, stuff like The War Within may be underwhelming to you because you've been playing the game for two, three, four years. What a lot of hardcore players in the Warframe community need to realize, and I've been preaching this for a while now, is that they need to play other video games. You can't expect this one video game to fulfill all your needs and wants as a gamer, and for them to be fulfilled and granted right away, right now, next update. Here's a genius idea. Instead of getting tired of Warframe, instead of growing to hate it, because you play it so damn much, you play it all the time, expecting it to get better and change somehow, definition of insanity, anybody? Play some other video games. There have been some simply fantastic new free-to-play and pay-to-play brand new AAA games that have hit the market. If you like PvE or PvP, first-person, third-person, shooter, hack-and-slash, there's so many amazing video games on the market right now that you can get for ridiculously cheap cheap prices. And not only will this help you appreciate video games in general more, it will help you appreciate Warframe more, because the more you play other video games and you pay for other video games, the more you realize how special Warframe is, what it's doing, what it's done, what it's going to do in the future as a video game, as an action video game, as a sci-fi video game, as a free-to-play video game. Is Warframe truly revolutionary? No, but what's there is really, really good. And that's really my overall thoughts on The War Within. What's there isn't revolutionary, but it's cool, it's fun, and it's just really, really good. It's well made. And how can I really complain about something that's free to play? I liked The War Within, I enjoyed The War Within, it was satisfying, and it has me hopeful and excited for wherever Warframe ends up and whatever keeps getting added into the game. Anyways, that's been a video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you indeed, indeed liked the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the like button helps you help me, helps everybody involved with the video. If you hit the like button, please leave a comment. I love reading comments, get nearly enough comments. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section down below. If you want to help out and support this video, then please be sure to share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, then please consider pledging and becoming a patron on my Patreon. Anyways guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later.